Thank you for doing uh, this Christmas will be different. I appreciate you doing that. We hung out all day together. How fun was that? It was the greatest. We always, uh, we always, you know, two miss... take maximum. <laughs> two take maximum. We know that we had some good takes. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. yeah, that was so much fun. Happy holidays to you and uh, and your family. Uh, I'm happy to see you in person. Thanks for uh, making the trip and being here. Absolutely. Uh, well, what are your? Do are, are you have like family traditions? You have holiday plans. What do you have coming up? This year we're going to get all the McConaughey family. We're all also getting Camilla's family. Um, so when we do that. And we have that multicultural Christmas. Christmas lasts a long time at our place because they celebrate on the 24th. Oh. Midnight, you exchange presents, all right? So okay. you have the big sit-down dinner. You get the china out for the first time all year. <laughs> up to my family, it'd be paper plates. Thank you, Camilla. <laughs> Get the china out, china out like a bit of ritual. That we are using china. Yes. Thank you, Camilla. Yeah. We do that that night, and then we get up the next day, and we do our Christmas, which is... Everyone opens presents, Santa came. The problem, the reason I say it's longer already is that my mother, who's 90, still demands that you, everyone open their present and everyone watch one person open the present <laughs> at a time. Yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. So you got a big Brazilian family, you got a big McConaughey family. There's a family of 20, there's a lot of presents, thankfully. Yes. It may be dark on the 25th when we're done opening presents <laughs> yeah. from that morning. And so it's 7 o'clock p.m. and you just finished opening presents from Christmas morning. Yeah. Did so the nights get long. Do, my, my grandma or, uh, used to do this thing where we would unwrap the present. She goes, can you just not rip it just yeah. so I can reuse <laughs> Save, the wrapping? Save the wrapping. <laughs> Save the wrap yeah. for the next yeah. year. I go, it's, yes, okay, it's grandma. It's 3 p.m. Right, let's go. <laughs> let's open up the thing. Yeah. <laughs> it's so fun, though. I look forward to it. Do you, uh, are you a guy that makes New Year's resolutions? Yeah. I check in on myself. <laughs> you check in See, on yourself, yeah. You know, I asked I ask, I ask myself to work on my patience last year. Yeah. Um, on, yeah. On New Year's Eve. We all need and to do that. And now thank you for reminding me. I guess tonight I'll start thinking about how I've done the last 11 months. <laughs> yeah, exactly right. Well, I think the last time we talked, I, I mean, congratulations, your book, Green Lights, yeah. was on the New York Times bestseller list. 50, five zero. Yeah. 50 weeks. It sold like two and a half million copies. Yeah. It is a giant, giant hit, but congratulations. Thank I you. loved it. Thank you. I, did you did you realize it would take off like that? I mean, so many people. I, I had no idea. It's massive. Uh, I it, it hit a nerve. Thank yeah. you, everyone out there who had a read of it. Um, it was so honest, and it was so. Uh, it, I I loved it. I told you as soon as I, I read it, I couldn't stop reading it. I go, oh, this is so. It's so personal, but it's so also uh, universal. Yep. I think that's what people got from it. People said, hey, I see myself in you. I see my stories in your stories. Um, and it kind of lays out a map, a process. It's a process book. It's not a product book. It's an approach to life with this rodeo we're all trying to get through and trying yeah. to get our eight seconds on. Yeah, you green know, lights. How, how, can we, how can we do our best to get it? You <laughs> Actually, you're, you're coming out with the, a, a journal now, a companion journal yeah. to help people. Because I, I think you were saying in the book, too, it's, it's tough when you write... Uh, to just tell someone, hey, just write something down every every day or every night. A blank sheet of pa paper intimidates the heck out of us, right? It does. But journaling or writing things down, I've done it all my life, and it's how I wrote Green Lights, the book. It, immensely valuable. I mean, you, I write things down to forget. If you write them down, you can forget them because they're in there. <laughs> Don't yeah. just go to the diary or the journal to write down when you're frustrated and confused. Go to the journal to write down what you're doing in life when you're rolling, when you're catching green lights, when you're in the flow, because... We will get out of flow again, and it's nice to have a document to go back and go, "Whew, what was I doing when I was when I was cruising?" Yeah, well, when habit. life was perfect. You know, you see habits, and you can change and recalibrate. Um, but yeah, it's a journal. I got little nudges along the way that kind of help you and ask you some questions to write your story. The book yeah. Green Lights was my story. This is for your story. Ah, I love that, buddy. That's awesome. Uh, uh, congrats on that. Thank you. Um, we also, you were nice enough to zoom in to us when we uh, couldn't get any uh, guests anywhere. No one's allowed to travel or do anything. But there was talk of you uh, maybe running for governor right. of Texas. Uh, and you recently decided uh, to not run for governor. Yes. Can you walk us through that decision? Whew. Well, it was a two-year consideration that I came to the decision really over the last couple of months. And I was asking myself the original question and trying to answer it. How and where and what can I do to be most useful to myself? to my family, and to the most amount of people. The embassy, the category of politics uh, came up, and it's a privileged one that I gave great consideration to. But at this point in my life, with the things I've got, a 13-year-old, 11-year-old, and an 8-year-old, the life I'm living right now, the storytelling I want to keep doing, um, it's not the category for me at this point in yeah. my life. Uh, it's still not ruling out future? I'm not until I am. Okay.
Someone told me that was a very McConaughey answer the other day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not until I am. It's very, yeah. yeah that is. I'll, I'll be keeping an eye open for... Because I know, for, uh, you know, Texas loves you. Do. And uh, uh, when we, were, we did the show from uh, Texas, uh, you were nice enough to come on the show. And gosh, you're beloved down there as well. You think people love you here, standing ovations. They love you there. Uh, I know state. you put on a uh, benefit concert yeah. uh, with your wife called We're Texas. Yeah. Uh, after that... The, Rough, awful, uh, Winter storm Uri came through. Jeez. We're not used to winter storms like that in Texas, okay? Um, no. We, uh, we were a bit awkward. We weren't prepared. And a lot of people were out of home. A lot of people were out of school. A lot of people needed some help because they didn't, they didn't know how to deal with it. And so we, my foundation, which is the Just Keep Living Foundation, yeah. we got together and said, we're not disaster relief, but want to be disaster relief? We said, let's go. And um, I headed to Texas. I got on the phone. Camilla got on the phone. 100% of the people we called, whether it was companies who donated, whether it was musicians who came in, everybody was a yes in the first 30 seconds. We went down to Texas, uh, put the show on. We raised over $7.7 .7 million, That's which is still being put out there. Too. That's how you do it right there. You just stepped up, and I go, oh, my gosh. What do you know about putting on a live concert? You're like, nothing. It was like your takes today. You get, you know, you get one take. No, two maximum, but let's throw it together. Because you have to, disaster relief, you have to move quickly. Because if you take your time to say, oh, this has got to be perfect, something else is taking the front page news. There's another disaster coming. <laughs> you know, so you need, to, you need to jump on it quickly and get everyone together um, and take advantage of trying to get people to give at that time when it is front page news and they know people need help. Uh, I saw a Hollywood reporter gave you, uh, named you Philanthropist of the Year uh, yeah. with all the stuff you do to give that back. That was cool. It's good, it's good to be you, but it's also great to give back. And uh, it's also, it's, it's great. You know what you do? You, you show up. Every time you always show up. For me, but I think for, for anything. I know you're a great uh, dad. Well, and, uh, thank you. Try to. I think we all try to. You know, I think we, we learn more and more as we, as, we, as we age. We serve ourselves when we do serve others. That is a reciprocitous little exchange right there. Yeah. And, and then also there's ways to serve ourselves and serve others at the same time. And where those two meet, when we're filling our bank account and our soul's account at the same time, we're getting the quantity and the quality at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> Honey ho. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. I want to talk about and show a clip from Sing 2. More with Matthew McConaughey when we come back, everybody. Come on back. Hey, hey.